Hey, how's it going, everybody? Lawler here. Feels like it's been forever since we've done this. We've got Rocket League to talk about. The official start of the RLCS Winter Split Major has begun. Over the next five days or so, we're going to be talking about a recap per day, as long as internet is working out. Uh, I will give you guys a disclaimer at the very beginning of this. I've actually got to go catch a flight to LA in like 15, 20 minutes here. So there is the unfortunate thing that I haven't been able to watch all the matches for day one yet because flight just isn't allowing me to do it. So uh, I won't be able to recap all the matches, just the ones that have finished and concluded up to this point, which is all but two. Uh, maybe one. I think there's only one match I'm missing out on. I'm pretty sure. The only series I'm not able to recap is Dignitas and Space Station is what I'm saying. So uh, just because I have to get on a plane. But with that said, a um, couple things to keep in mind. Winter Split Major, it is going from groups into double elimination on the day of this video, the next day, and the day after that. So uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday uploads. It is going to be primarily all of your group stage stuff. Sunday, Monday is going to be recaps of the playoff bracket, which I'll try to do gonna be tough obviously with like all everything going on so i'll do what i can to keep you guys updated it's gonna be depending on the internet so uh bearing with me but the reason why this one's coming out easily is because i'm at home still so with that said we're gonna go through group by group uh a and c are the front loaded groups which means they have two matches compared to one and then b and d are the ones that only have one match for this the next day tomorrow they're gonna have two Again, if you guys want to come hang out with us while you're in LA, go to the watch party with version one. Details can be found on my Twitter. Group A started off with two matches that were pretty exciting. Queso and Detonator. Uh, Queso, we were trying to see, hey, young team, second youngest team there. Are they going to live up to the hype? Is the aggression and stuff going to come out? They get kind of the gimme match. No offense to Detonator or anything. Uh, they do end up scoring 15 goals to one. They look pretty impressive. Queso's vibing with it. Things are good. On the other side of things, we got V1 in phase, and we were curious on what version we were going to see. Uh, V1, super defensive, very, very defensive, really solid defense. They are second-rated defense uh, in North America, second to NRG, and that is their play style. We're going to play defensive. We're going to make sure that we make these saves, hit you with some counterattacks, and then every single time it felt like it was close, V1 responded with beast mode. It turns out beast mode on land, calm on land. Very, very good. Torment, we know he's a land boy. Calm, also talking a lot of shit. He is saying things along the lines, and everybody in the area is hearing it. Multiple tweets from multiple people saying, quote, dude, V1 is literally yelling in the studio, oh my god, y'all are ass after each game. Uh, I wouldn't say it's V1, I would say it's Calm doing that. And which is which is weird because Calm is like one of the most nice people I know. Like he's so well behaved and he's a good kid, but he's he's being very vocal. He's Living rent-free in some of these people's heads, I guess. He's playing the mental game. And they end up 3-0-ing phase. I remember my predictions. I'm like, V1 has the chance to win these matches, but I am concerned about the play style between FaZe and Queso, and Dignitas, and BDS, and how they'll match up. They 3-0 phase. Very close, though. 1-0, 1-0, 3-2. All one-goal games. Um, I will say FaZe does look a little bit off, but uh, V1 playing their match. It's been a few weeks since we saw them in Regional 3 where they won. And they come in as the overall third seed, fourth seed, third or fourth seed. I forget. They're living up to it. They're playing quite well. So congrats to V1 on that one. They are doing quite well. They come in as the fourth seed, by the way. I'm an idiot. Uh, so fourth seed for V1. They come in and are living up to the hype uh, after their most recent win. We then go to round two and go back to the other stream. And it is V1 versus Queso. And V1 comes out and honestly... A very good back and forth series, a little bit sloppy because of the aggression and the bump play that's coming from both sides. But V1 wins this one 3 1. It is 4 3, 3 2, 3 2 in favor of Queso, and then 2 1 with a win in overtime. This is where you really saw the clutch factor of V1 come into play. And this narrative of going to five and going to seven doesn't seem to be the case anymore. Will it persist? We'll have to wait and see. Uh, because V1 is now 2-0 in the group with Detonator as their last team, chances are they're going to go 3-0, not to discredit Detonator, and you'll see why in a sec here, but that guarantees them a top six placement. Group D is a unique circumstance, which we'll talk about in the future. I've got also future videos that are going to be coming out, talking more specifically about certain things that land, like Sandrock Gaming, their former CEO, things like that. So I'll give those after land right now. We're just focusing on the recaps. Yeah. Phase and Detonator then play, and it starts off. Phase wins in overtime, 2-1. Uh, and then you're like, okay, you know, Detonator's here to play. They looked pretty good against Queso. Uh, just Queso obviously did the scoring thing. 
And then Detonator comes and wins a the game. They win 3-2. And all these games, except for the last one, are one-goal games. 2-1, two, 3-2 one, two in favor of Detonator, 2-1 in favor of FaZe again. And then FaZe seems to start to get their footing, and they go 7-1 against Detonator. So uh, they do tweet out they're not happy with their results. They're not exactly happy with what they've been doing. But uh, as they progress, things are getting better and better. So Detonator putting up a fight. They also make APAC like history, which is also awesome. I expected some of these minor regions to show up and play better. They are doing so. They're a bit more competitive. And keep in mind, Detonator was a team that originally wasn't supposed to play in qualifiers. Uh, Nimt, who was unable to play due to scheduling issues with the Winter Major, dropped out. Detonator took their spot. They ended up qualifying for the Major, and now they're taking games off of phase. It's an incredible story. It's super awesome to see. So we've got Queso phase V1 Detonator tomorrow. Group B, Endpoint, Furia, Renegades, and NRG. Fury and Energy goes first. Energy starting a little bit slow, and they do take game one in an OT, but after that, Furia very fast, very aggressive, and defense has been quite refined. Uh, There's a few times where you saw Jan going for double touches and stuff, and it looked like Energy was on the backboard and able to make saves, but they just missed a few times. Uh, I'm not too worried about Energy, but uh, starting a little bit slow. Uh, getting that advantage of groups is a really big deal. You could see a multiple ties uh, for placements in this group, but Furia with the upset over Energy, Endpoint, and Renegades, Endpoint does get their revenge. Uh, this time around, Endpoint not worried about their settings and everything else, no excuses this time, they just close them out and they feel a lot better about it. Relating Wave had a really good series and Seiko was, wasn't was scoring that much uh, because Metsonaris and Relating Wave were doing it. It's It makes them even more scary. So uh, boot camp buff, land live environment buff from Endpoint looking and living up to the name. They only have one match in this group. So uh, those are the only matches for Group B. Got Energy losing to Furia and Endpoint winning 3-1 over Renegades. Renegades does get a win. Pretty solid results. A couple counterattack goals in Game 3. All right, on to Group C. Also playing two matches that are front-loaded just like Group A. We got Secret, EG, G2, and BDS. Uh, G2, EG trying to see if G2 is going to live up to the things we've been saying. Obviously, new team, new offense. Atomic making them look back like Season 7 with the, like, 10 to 15 shots per game average, but the difference this time is it seems like their defense has become more refined. Uh, Sathu addition as coach, it seems like they've put a lot of emphasis, and I could be wrong on this, on making sure they don't over-rotate and over-commit. It seems to be a little bit more reserved, and the rotation's back a lot safer. They're doing a really good job still with their passing plays and their offense, a little bit more chippy as well with their bumps and demos, and uh, it seems to be opening up a lot of things. Also, JNAP's on land continuing to be who he is. So... Uh, G2EG is a pretty close series, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1, 2-1 across the board, uh, but it is in favor of G2 winning two overtimes to close it out. So uh, they start with one and they end with one. So big differences there, pretty solid results from G2, living up to the hype, looking good while doing it as well. EG, I don't have my reservations. I, I'm pretty solidified my thoughts on them in the sense that I think they will be competitive in any match they play against any opponent. I just look at their ceiling and I feel like they've hit it. I don't see them beating teams towards the top. While I think they're competitive and I think they can do a lot of really good things, I do expect them to lose against any of these teams that I consider a top six. I just don't see them doing it here. And uh, so far, they have done exactly what I'm thinking. So uh, G2 does beat them 3-1. We then go to BDS and Secret. And BDS Secret, a lot closer than people expect. 2-1, oh, It is a sweep in favor of BDS, but an overtime in there that went four minutes. Team Secret came to play, and they're looking pretty good. This is the race team that became Noble that went back to race and is now Team Secret, for those that don't know. So they're looking pretty solid, very competitive. And we get a result of that in the second round for Group C, where you get G2 and Team Secret going all the way to five. Uh, G2 goes up, 2-0. 3-2 and 4-0. They look good. They look ready to close this out. And then... Team Secret starts to get the reverse sweep going. 2-0. 2-1 in OT 148. Uh, G2 does finally close it out, though. 3-1 in Game 5. Team Secret came to play. Team Secret versus EG. Going to be the difference maker. Who gets to go into uh, the group stage and who gets eliminated on Day 1? Uh, that's a big deal. It's a very big deal. It's going to come down to the final day. So elimination matches on Friday are going to be absolutely insane. Uh, I'm very much so looking forward to it. Or Thursday, actually. Thursday and then lower round matches are going to be insane. Uh, we got G2 and BDS, though, to start on the next day. Uh, BDS and EG fight each other. This is the one I was just watching on stream. Uh, very back and forth. A lot of really good moments. EG's offense and pressure has been pretty dang solid. 
But eventually it does get to a point where we get the longest overtime in RLCS land history. 10 minutes and 15 seconds of game four, which EG does win. Uh, this one felt a lot of boom ball. Nobody taking any risk. Very just simple play, making sure not to make any mistakes. Eventually EG does catch mono rotation and some play in the beginning. Uh, we then go into game five and it is BDS that I think forces an own goal. I'm pretty sure it's extra that plays it off a player and it bounces in. And then EG responds pretty solid. And then BDS ends up closing it out. So pretty solid stuff there from Group C. And then for Group D, it's going to be Dignitas and Space Station. Unfortunately, this result will have happened, but I've got to catch my flight. So I will not be able to give you a reply on this one or what's going on because there's a break and everything else. So I'm going to have to miss this one because I will be on the plane. So uh, Dig Space Station, who's going to win? I would assume Dignitas, but who knows? Maybe Daniel's a land god and Arsenal and Reddles pop off. Who knows? I'm excited to find out what that result is when I land. But yeah, that is day one of the RLCS recap. As reminders, final thoughts, all that kind of stuff. Uh, if you're going to land and you want to say hi to me and you see me, please come say hi. I never want there to be a message of, I saw you, I was nervous, or I didn't want to bug you, that kind of stuff. Please come say hi. Just be respectful of space and understand like, hey, time restrictions if I'm busy with stuff. I don't need, I'm not trying to be mean or anything. It's just, there's certain things that I have to do because I'm there uh, working. So, but all means, if you see me and you want to say hi, please do so. I'll be at the V1 watch party on both Thursday and Friday. Even if V1 doesn't play on Friday, they will still be doing a watch party just so you guys can get confirmed for that. Details and stuff you can all find on my Twitter. Uh, but please come hang out with us. Come please say hi. I'll be hanging out with like Axel Toss and a bunch of community members and stuff. It should be a really good time. Uh, for those at home, cheer loud, cheer proud, and uh, support these uh, these tournaments because if you don't it makes it difficult for us to continue doing them so that said any other questions comments concerns let me know down in the comments below uh, another recap hopefully the next few days i'll try to do them with my camera and everything i'm bringing my setup and uh the cable kind of like how i did for the last uh, major when i was out for g4 so hopefully the internet doesn't suck this month but with that said thank you for all the love and support like the video if you enjoy it subscribe notifications i'll try to put in vlog content and stuff while I'm out there as well. Uh, but that's going to do it for me. Thank you as always. Hit subscribe, turn on notifications. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.